Hello everyone, no clue content here. Today I'm going to be doing what if Iran tried to form an empire due to the recent poll and its victory. Anyway, by the way, uh, some other stuff. Iran is going to be buffed militarily, they're going to have more reserves, and the people are going to be more willing to fight in long periods of time in war. Alliances such as NATO, EU, and UN have been disbanded, and every other alliance that I didn't name, and all the relations that Iran holds with countries, which could be bad or good, is going to be set to neutral for this video. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So to start off the Iranian conquest, they declare war on Iraq to open up to the rest of the Middle East and the West. Possibly they could go to the Suez if they wanted to. An invasion across the border into Iraq is made by the Iranian soldiers. They secure the coastal areas of Iraq and begin a full-out invasion, attempting to split them in half, possibly, and just collapse their government in general. The Iraqi forces are unable to hold back the advancing Iranians as they manage to push south, nearing to encircle the entirety of the southern Iraqi army. A retreat is made by the Iraqi forces attempting to stop all these men dying, but they are just delaying the inevitable, really. They manage to get out a lot of their forces, but eventually this happens. An encirclement. Also, the Iraqi capital has fallen, leading to a swift Iraqi surrender. Let's get on to the treaty. So as we can see here, Iraq has been fully annexed into Iran. The next country on Iran's hit list, Kuwait. Iranian forces quickly push across the border and capture the mainland of Kuwait. They are forced to surrender due to having no capital and no government. Let's get on to the treaty. So as we can see here again, Kuwait has been fully annexed into Iran. They look up north towards Azerbaijan. Why Azerbaijan? Because they want to gain some more access to the Caspian Sea, and they're trying to strike up trade with the Russians over here. With the invasion of Azerbaijan beginning, someone joins, it's Armenia, to also invade Azerbaijan. But there's someone else, it's Turkey, to help Azerbaijan. So they begin an invasion and they link up here, capturing border territory and easily overpowering the Azerbaijani forces. The Iranians had not put many troops on the Turkish border because they weren't expecting them to join the war. Now with them in the war, they have to mobilize more reserves. Iranian forces begin pushing back the Turks as they are able to have mobilized a grand number of forces to advance them back and hold them in Armenia. The Azerbaijanis attempt to hold for as long as possible so the Turks can come and help, but now this is too late. This is Azerbaijani NC and no one's here to save them. The Azerbaijani capital falls and then they are forced to surrender. With seeing no hope, Turkey sues for peace. Let's get on to the treaty. So as you can see here, Turkey gained a little land. Meanwhile, the real winner here is Armenia. They got that territory that Azerbaijan was cut off from, and they expanded heavily into Azerbaijan. Iran gained some territory, and they got a puppet out of it. And now they have good relations with Armenia, so they could possibly call them in future wars when they need extra forces, or an ally to help. They look west. And they plan to go all the way down here to invade Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia versus the new Persian Empire. Let's get on to the war. The Iranians have the upper hand as they have more experience in similar conditions from their invasion of Iraq. The Iranian Navy manages several naval invasions across the coast of Saudi Arabia from the east. They eventually link up with these naval invasions, securing the eastern Saudi Arabian coast, weakening the Saudi Arabians even more. The Iranians commence an all-out push in the north, attempting to capture some key supply lines and encircle some forces. This goes amazing for the Iranians, and they capture the key supply lines and they encircle forces. With these supply lines, the Saudis in the north are now undersupplied, allowing them to push in further, begin an all-out assault across the front line, attempting to cause a Saudi Arabian surrender, as they do not want to keep this war dragging on even more. 
with the war dragging on, meaning more casualties, these heavy advances, and loss of troops from the Saudi Arabian front line, the stability and morale begins to tank. They commence another encirclement, encircling more forces, and now Saudi Arabia has surrendered. Let's get on to the treaty. As we can see here, Saudi Arabia has been wrecked. A chunk of their territory has been taken by the new Persian Empire, and the remainder is puppeted. So, I think this is where I'm going to end the video here. I believe that this is the Persian Empire, reformed. Without any further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did, and see y'all in the next video. No clue is out.